everybody, this is Stephanie, head photographer of Reef Studios in Washington, D.C., and today we're going to talk about first communion photography tips. Now, I was asked not too long ago to do a communion for a young girl, and when you're shooting in a Catholic church, it's important to remember that they don't allow a lot of flash photography, and they really don't like a lot of noise when they're doing their communion. So you're going to have your ISO settings generally very high, and you're going to not be able to use your flash. But you want to check with the priest beforehand and get the permission. Now, first communions, um, you will not be able to move around a lot. So make sure that you're in a prime location to photograph the subject where you can capture different moments and different angles without having to move too much. Now, outside of the church, some parents might want to get their child first communion pictures taken outdoors and which gives you great opportunity to work with different backdrops. Having the child sitting alone in front of different flower arrangements, that's a great option for photographing communions. Make sure that you get the child with the parents, grandparents, and everyone that's involved. This is a very important moment in many children's lives. First communions are a lot of fun and they're very, very uh, memorable and emotional moments in a child's life. And as a photographer, it's important for you to capture all of those moments. So make sure you call ahead, find out what the rules are, and um, be prepared to shoot without the flash. And bring a tripod. This is Stephanie, head photographer at Three Studios, and we just talked about first communion photography tips. Mm -hmm.